You're listening to the number one sports talk show on the planet, the Doug Stewart Show. This is a revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, the Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yes! Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, Watch your videos and view all of your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's BV, V as in victory, mobileapps.com, and tell them Doug Stewart sent you. Yes, sir! We're doing some huge things here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the Doug Stewart Show, and the biggest thing being broadcasting other shows. That's right, we're executive producing other shows and playing them on my network. You may have a fantastic show or podcast, but do you have a listeners? We got listeners, over 9,000 followers to the Doug Stewart Show on the Spreaker platform, as well as over 200,000 plus listens to the network itself. So here's what you do. Go to Fiverr.com, that's Fiverr.com, and search the Doug Stewart Show or Stewart Media and Entertainment and get all the details. Or just hit up the producer, Tree, at Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's spelled T-R-E-I. Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com and come and do business with us on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. Anybody got to say anything, you let me know. That's the most excellent idea, sire. Is it? And you taught him what he needed to be a man. I'll give you that. Because most men ain't man enough to do what you did. You re, you re kicking it with KC show, 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 show. And we are kicking it here with London Sister Girl number one. That's me. That's right. And hello, welcome to the Kicking It with KC show. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for having me. And hello, world. <laughs> We're streaming live over the Stewart Media Entertainment Network as well. Uh, they have um, a network of people that actually will be listening in as well on their networks. So I'm introducing you to my group of people as well as the Stewart uh, Media Network Entertainment group of people. So some people may have heard of you, some people have not heard of you. So we'll basically reintroduce those who do know you and those who have not heard of you or may have heard of you, they'll find out who you are. Okay, all right. Let's let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. 
because I know you. I, I've known you for a long, 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 long time. And right. You are a dynamic personality. I think I actually met you uh, doing independent artist showcases. Yeah. So you you actually were hosting showcases with with independent music artists. Tell me, yes. how did you get started in that? With the with the independent artists? Yep. Um, because uh, back in back in that day, um, I used to promote a couple parties here and there and stuff, which were not successful. Um, you know, because I've always been trying to figure out how to get myself out there. Um, I knew that I was destined and born to be something. I just didn't know what. So at the at the time when I was doing, um, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to promote parties and stuff. And it's like nobody would come, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but because now, now Big Dino of Metro Boys, he Metro and Boys. I, you know, mm-hmm. you know Metro Boys, right? Yep, Metro Boys Entertainment in Atlanta. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, he was like really successful, but like nobody came to my parties. So, <laughs> but I noticed that um, one night it's like I said, okay, well, I'm going to um, uh, have some have some um, artists show up, you know, and it's like they were there like in force. It's like they wanted to be heard. And so that's how I, that's how I got, and it's funny because after I did that, then I said, okay, I'm going to do a pajama party, right? Right. Nobody came. I was like the only one there with my pajamas <laughs> on. And then <laughs> the following week, I did um, an artist showcase, and it was like they was packed up in there. And so that, that's um, I, I, I started I started doing those. Wow, that's mm-hmm. really deep right there. All right, mm-hmm. so I, and 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 artists actually they did pretty well as far as coming through there because I remember you know. Yes. Artists that yes. actually came through there who, you know, went on to do big things. So Absolutely. kudos to you for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh uh B O B, um, we did a showcase and you know, he blew up and stuff like that and all and they were like, You know him and I was like, What are you talking about? They were like, When he came through, he was with his cousin, he was with the clinic. And I was like I was like, That was B O B it was like, Girl, yeah. And Bolo Who's got that? What uh, that Nene? Watch me, Nene. Yeah. The the Nene song. He produced yeah. that. He was it, he would um come through and judge and stuff. So it's it's so it's so weird. It's so weird. It's funny. Like I did a music conference and I had uh I had Future and I didn't even know it. He was with a group called the the Connect. Really? Yep. See, <laughs> see. I mean, I mean, just just. Just knowing that it's like you were part of something, you know, in just wonderful and magic like that. It's like so important. And let's not forget the whole team. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Shout out to the whole came team. out and supported. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. we try to do our best. All right, let's. Cause we only got about twenty minutes or so to to okay. really kick it here. So I'm really digging into the meat of this. You do a lot of things. The most I tell us it. One is, I know, and you started. You were you're an author. Yes. You went from author into doing screenplays. Right. And then you also do like your own uh, video blogs and all kind of different things that you do. So you do a whole lot of stuff. Let's jump into the author part of it. Oh, you have a hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. And you and you forgot spoken word artist and my attempt at comedy. So that's oh. all we'll say about that. From right back. Wow. I know, man. It's just about trying to find my voice, you know? Okay. Okay. All right. I got you. So you're gonna, like I said, you're going to you're gonna make your way in out of one of these avenues. Something is, is blowing up and to the next level like Sister Girl London is on the next plateau. So when I call it's gonna like doo 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 uh yes, uh Sister Girl London's office. I'll take a message. Right. Right. Yep. But if they say it's key C with the whole team, then you know that call will be taken, period. So you know that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that that I make it I I got an end. I have an end. Um right. all right. The book. I'm I'm only saying that because it we're you're recording. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You know I'm just playing. All right, let's pause for a break. All 
Whole Team Enterprises, a full-service graphics and marketing company that will take your company's image to the next level, specializing in graphic design, web design, web hosting, printing, video editing, event planning, and more. They are cost-effective, professional, and have an awesome quick turnaround. Please give them a call at 888-755-0036 or visit them online at www.wholeteam.com. Be sure to get your car serviced by the professionals at ICN Services, located in the Buckhead area of Atlanta. They are a full-service automobile concierge service who are an on-site automobile detailing provider with the advantages of their come-to-you service. Your car can get their needs taken care of while you continue your day. They will take your vehicle to appointments, inspections, repairs, returns, and more. Find them online at www.itscleannow.com or reach them at 404-934-0675. Go see my guys at Platinum Auto Accessories in Lithonia, Georgia. They can get your car audio needs tight. In addition to the audio enhancements, they specialize in visual enhancements for your car as well. Lighting, rims, alarm systems, remote starts, and more. Visit Kevin and James with some of the best deals in the Atlanta metro area. Conveniently located at 2648 Lithonia Industrial Boulevard off I-20 and the Evans Mill exit. Also give them a call at 678-323-7888. Mention this ad for a special discount. Friends of the Kicking It with Key C show. You've reached re- Kicking It with Key C show. show. change that too. You know, I keep evolving, but the name of this book is called um, How to Beat That Bee, you know, be a female dog at his own game. And it is, uh, the subtitle is The Hustler, Cheater, Abuser's Playbook. And it basically goes step by step. You know, Keith, today, you know, it's like everybody talks about relationships all over the place and, and you know, everybody's want to find, you know, a good man, good woman or whatever. But a lot of women, they are jumping into some, just some, just some wild situations, just some foolishness. And so, and so in the book, it goes step by step by step how a hustler or a cheater or an abuser is going to come at you. What's going to happen? This, that, and the third. They're going to follow a plan. They don't deviate from the script. And the reason that a lot of women get hustled is because they fall in love too quickly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. It's like the moment that I meet the, the – not I, but but um, now it's like online. It used to be like the club. But anyway, it's like the minute that you meet this person, it's like you're so thirsty or so hungry for companionship, you immediately start um, you know, envisioning him in a tuxedo. Wow. Right. Immediately. Right. So you're saying you meet this person and, and, and or women meet this person and they admit, immediately figure out how they can actually marry this guy. That's what's in their head. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, I heard that there was somebody, some relationship offer or whatever that was like, um, you know, if a guy doesn't open your door for you, you know, he's not a good man. And I'm like, that's some foolishness. Don't fall in love with a guy just because he opens the door for you. I said, because the wrong the wrong guy will get mad at you and put your butt on the side of 285 from his <laughs> car. You know, don't fall in love with a guy because he brings you flowers. The, the, uh, uh, the wrong man and abuser will beat the hell out of you with that dozen of roses. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Right, it's like you're falling in love with the wrong thing. And so, and so, and I remember it was a lot of excerpts in this book, but you actually dig into a lot of games and 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 and, 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 and angles that the men actually come in at. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I'm probably getting 
like, man, who you got on the phone? You know, so I'm I'm sure some, some brothers actually trying to figure out what angle you coming at and why you coming at this angle. <laughs> Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this title out. Yeah. Maybe God was too busy to do a background check. <laughs> That's for the ladies that are like, I am only going to marry a dude that I meet in church. And mm. then they get, they, they, they get married, you know, within two, three months or whatever, because, you know, they're not going to sleep with the guy, you know, before mm-hmm. marriage, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, then it's like they get into all this foolishness, you know, the same as, you know, people out in the world. And they're like, and I'm like, well, I thought you said that God sent you this man. Maybe God was too busy to do a background check. <laughs> so they actually, they're figuring that they hit this angle, and they they run into the same foolishness though, with guys, actually, that they met at church. Absolutely. Women just assume that because a guy is up in the church, that, okay, it's like, oh, I got a church man. You see what I'm saying? Right. You got, yeah. you got to put him through the same test as these dudes that you meet online. And don't even get me started about the online game. <laughs> The online game is out of control, right? Out of control. It's like these dudes are like, like dudes are just. If I took, if I came back in another life, number one, I would want to come back, of course, as sister girl number one. But but if I couldn't, I would want to come back as a dude. Like now, like it's too easy. Okay, we need an example. How did you even get inspired to write this book? What there was something that happened in your life that you was like, you know what? Or it might have been a, a, a several guys that you know went some kind of route where you was like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> well, you tried to say, sister girl number one been around the block a couple times. <laughs> what? Yeah, actually, actually more than a couple, but this ain't about me. But um, no, no, it's not necessarily you know about like my experiences. It, it's a lot. It's it's about my experiences, like with celibacy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And um, it's also about watching like other people involved in some foolishness. You know, like the title that uh, "Stop Bringing Your Good Booty Calls to the Family Breakfast Table," mm-hmm. and that's about women that move these dudes up in their house with them and their kids, like. So quickly, and I want to say, whoa, 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 whoa! Mm. You know, you moving them in too quick. So I didn't say it to the people; I just wrote it out. And so that's how it's a that that's how it's um uh, a chapter. You know, even like um, do you think it's fair for you to jump into an abusive relationship and then call yourself a domestic violence victim? That's a you know that's a chapter because it's a you know. It's about how women, um, some, some some women, you know, it's like they will ignore all the red flags, all the signals and everything, and jump into, you know, a relationship with this dude. Let's, let's, you know? let's go, let, let's go in, give us an example of a red flag here. We're going a little deeper. Uh, uh, what now? A okay. red flag, a red flag of a person meeting the man. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me give you an example of a blatant red red flag. Right. Not even um like like do we punch her in the face. Let's go with something some, something like anger. Okay. You can't I, I, you can't fall in love with a person, a man man or a woman, because we're not even gonna talk about these lesbian chicks out here that got got these relationships that I'm like, oh, you need to go back and start dating a dude again. <laughs> Wow. I know they they be on it. They be fighting. I'm like, oh, my God. I thought you said that if you got with a woman, you know, everything would be better because women treat you better. But I'm like, she beating your ass, too. What? what? Excuse me. <laughs> it's they, all right. It's all right. It's the Internet. So, they be off the chain, boy. Them, them lesbian relationships and stuff like that. You know, the gay relationships and stuff. Right. Much respect. Much respect. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, there was a, there was a, um, uh, um, an issue with uh, the NBA girl, uh, Brittany Griner, her and her, I her and her uh, spouse, which is another NBA. <laughs> I know, right? I know. They be off the chain, of, and, and, and I only say that because.
because it seems like these days, it seems like, you know, everybody's like, you know, I'm bi or I'm gay or whatever. And the ones that are that, like, naturally and for true, you're like, oh, okay, cool. But the ones that are like, oh, I'm like this because guys have hurt me um, so bad. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, if you get with the wrong woman. In fact, wait a minute, I got a chapter. Oh, Let's see, what's that chapter called? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because it's really good. It's really important. Let's mm-hmm. see. Da, 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 da. Oh, here's the name of the chapter. Be honest. Have you ever considered getting into a relationship with a woman because you are tired of being hurt by men? Mm, wow. That, yeah, I know. That's a, that's the a title of another, uh, of, a, of another chapter. Oh, and don't forget, go look in the mirror. Are you the woman a hustler, cheater, abuser is searching for? All right, let's pause for a break. Next time you're in need of live video footage, be sure to hit my guys at Mastermind Productions. You can actually find them online at www.mastermindtv.net. Based in Atlanta, Georgia, they specialize in short films, concerts, music videos, sporting events, promotional videos, commercials, weddings, fashion and photography, at affordable rates to accommodate many budgets, and more. You also can reach them at 678-420-8494. Mastermind Production. If you're a fan of the Kicking It With KC show, you also can find my app on all of the different mobile outlets. On the Google Play Store, on the Apple Store, and also on the BlackBerry World. You can find me on Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, MixCloud, iTunes, and more. Be sure to download the mobile app. Wholeteam.com. www.whole-team.com forward slash podcast. You've reached, you've reached kicking it with Key C show. show. Wow, so you're saying there's an attribute of some women who basically these guys actually go look at, looking out for them because they have those certain attributes. Absolutely, absolutely. If you open up your wallet, yeah, it's your money, so 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 do what you do what you want to do. But if you open up your wallet and you financially take care of a man, if you want to do that. That's your business. You know, you're giving them your debit card, stuff like that and all. A hustler is going to clean out your bank account. Well, then you can't say, oh, I got, you know, I got hustled or whatever, because people are going to look at you like, well, you're the one that opened up your bank account right from the beginning and paid for everything, and he always turned your credit gave you back your car, you know, and, um, you know, with no gas in it or something. It's like the raggediest men these days are hooking up with women that they got, they got everything but companionship. Dang. Uh, That's crazy. Uh, and it's like, it's, uh-huh. it's like the, I mean, they actually, I mean, they have a consistency because it's like they'll they'll find a certain type of woman, then the next one they'll find another one that's the same type of way. And it's like they actually sought sought out this type of woman. You know what Absolutely. I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, if if you're if if you're a woman, you know, you got it going on this and the third and all. If you if you don't have no problem doing this, then that's fine. Okay, but but if you're like, oh, he hustled me, oh, he took this, oh, he stole that, oh, he stole the other, you know, and you and you know you were always you know paying for this and 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 paying paying for that. No, 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 no. You can't you can't say you got hustled afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Now, right. now let me ask you this: Does it offer an alternative? Like, okay, I know the book actually puts peeps game on, you know, what these guys out here doing. And it kind of opens up awareness so when somebody reads this book, they say, oh, man, he exhibits these same attributes. Or, man, I need to watch out for this. Does Mm -hmm. it also offer any solution for a female that's in this type of relationship? Do you actually go into, okay, well, this is what you need. You need to hurry up and get out of this. You need. Do you go into that? Yeah. I don't, 
I do not say, oh, one of my favorite chapters is uh, a letter to Oprah about cheating with married men. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah. Tell yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a lot of that going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, oh, oh, and then there's a chapter, are you going to let your loneliness turn you into mistress material? But, um, do, what, okay. I don't advise anybody to get out of anything um, because it's like that's your road that you have to take. That's your road that you have to walk. You know, uh, some weak women. Whoa, have a t- whoa, whoa, whoa. I had to pause you right there. All right. What, what? You, you just said you don't advise anyone to get out of anything. So if somebody is constantly beating your tail. You saying they got to work through it? Is that your thought? No, no. I have, I have, do you think it's fair to, for you to jump into an abusive relationship? I start right at the beginning of that. If, if you're in a relation, uh, an abusive relationship and um, uh, you and your kids are in danger, then then I do say, well, then you need to, to contact the proper authorities and you need to follow through with that. Okay. I do say that. Okay. And the reason that I say it like that, is because a weak woman, um, you can re- you can rescue her out of a relationship. Um, you can call the cops. You can pull a moving van up to her house. You know, move her and her kids, get her a job. You know, get them a place to stay. This and the third. But she's go- if she wants to go back to that man, she's gonna go back. Period. And you're gonna lose your money. Wow. And then, well, let me tell you what she's gonna say. I left. Because Tamika told me to. And Tamika, it's your fault that me and my husband broke up and my, my family is broken. If it's not her decision, she's not going to stay out. I'm, t- I'm telling you that I will, I'll argue anybody down. She's not going to stay out. It's easy to leave an abusive relationship. It's a bitch to stay out of it. Mm. Watch what I tell you. When a woman calls the police, she don't want to leave that relationship. She just wants the police to come to the house and pull him off of her. <laughs> wow. And so then before before the cops can pull up to the jail, she's already down there bailing him out. Oh, uh, am I right or am I not right? That's true. It is. You are right. And they're going to be mad at you for if you intervene on that. Talking about, girl, I call the I, cops on They mad at you. Why did you do that? Absolutely. absolutely that's why I, that's why I said she don't want to leave that relationship. She only wants the cops. And and it's like if she and the dude fall out, she's going to tell you all her business. Tamika, he did this. He beat me up every Friday, this and the third, this and the third. So then if you're like, okay, you know, I'm going to help you get out. Well, then the following week when they booed back up, when you say, hey, how's that loser doing? She going to defend him? Tamika, I need you to stay out of my relationship. <laughs> I need you to respect my man. What? And you like, what the heck? What were you talking last week about how he beat you every Friday? Like, like, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing. I'm not giggling. I'm just saying. Wow. Oh, man, that's crazy. All right, so we got about two more good minutes here. But I'm Are like, you kidding me? Yep, yeah, we, we ran all time. As always, it's got so much information, so much good stuff that, you know, this is this going to be a part one because you got so much stuff going on. We got to talk about your plays on the next one and all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing any more plays. I'm only going to do feature films. Okay, so you're doing feature films. All right. So let's go ahead and say and wrap up here. First thing, let's... Uh, shout out my website. Yep, let's get shout out on your website, how people can contact you, all that other good stuff. Okay, website is www.sistagirllondon.com, S-I-S-T-A-G-I-R-L-L-O-N-D-O-N.com, and uh, the link's going to be working. I am raising money to do my my first feature film on domestic abuse prevention and uh, education for young women. I'll be full of older women because they want to argue too much. I ain't trying to argue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you Look, sister girl, London doc. Okay, what about on the social media site? What's your own? Social media, uh, Facebook is a uh, filmmaker 
the Saw Girl London. I have a Twitter, but I I have never tweeted. I hate to say that. <laughs> I I know the other. I'm I'm looking for a social media person. Um, I'm I don't think I'm on anything else. So you looking for an intern out there to help help you get get your stuff on a nice college student trying to uh yes. come up. Good. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. So we got we got that out there. Hit hit her up at sistergirllondon.com dot com and uh, tell tell her that you're interested in doing an internship for her social media because she needs help getting that social media up on and um, your Instagram, your Twitter, and all the other know. stuff. I know, I know. Now I don't want anybody that's gonna be putting out misinformation. <laughs> you know that's what I'm it. saying. Yeah, the, hey, you you control that. That's that's on you. You want to control that, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we'll help you get out there with all that stuff. So you know, I'm actually the the procurer of the website as well too. So it's I'm gonna be, it's it's gonna break huge soon, TC, and everybody's gonna be like, wait a minute, she's an overnight success. That's right. <laughs> that is right. All right. Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, we're finished. Okay. We are done. Like I said, this is just part one here because we will also continue on another con- another conversation. But thank you very much for kicking it with Key C and for uh, just letting the people know who you are and what you got going on. And hopefully you you sell books out there. Go buy these books, y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am London Sister Girl number one, and I was on Kicking It With Key C. Thank you. Welcome. And talk to you later. You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet, The Doug Stewart Show. This is a revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yeah!